Hi, so Randy and I are going to show you how you can make a full meal on the grill, make it heart healthy, it's quick, it's easy, and it's perfect for those hot summer days. And the last thing you want to do is turn on your oven, but you want to have a full meal with a protein, a carbohydrate, and dessert. So today what we're going to do is Randy has his soup our secret which is going to reveal to us <laughs> barbecue sauce which is heart healthy and um, we have just a huge variety of vegetables and some fruit and shrimp and chicken you could do this with um, low-fat um, beef or pork or anything you wanted but we chose um, some chicken breast and some shrimp as our protein or you could even use um, tofu you just have to really be careful with the grill not to overcook it and so um, Randy's first going to show us how to make his barbecue sauce and while he's doing that I'm going to start getting some skewers going. Okay before we start our final preparation we always preheat the grill to get it up to medium. Uh, we spray it with um, non-stick oil in this particular case we use canola oil because it's a little better than some of the other oils that are available on the market. My barbecue sauce is just a general what we call white sauce, which means it isn't tomato based. And it starts out with a cup of white vinegar, which we for time sake have pre-measured, uh, a quarter of cup of olive oil, a quarter of a cup of um, soy sauce, Then we put in one teaspoon of garlic powder. Now this sauce is very uh, easily adapted to whatever you want. I mean, it's uh, kind of an ad hoc thing that you go along until you find something you like the taste of and then add a little more or take a little something away the next time. Uh, this is just a quantities that I've had success with. Do you um, usually marinate in this or just brush it on? Generally, we haven't thought ahead long enough to marinate it, so we simply um, brush it on and drizzle it onto the vegetables while we're working on them. We use a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. I use three teaspoons of Frank's Red Hot. Now sometimes I use Tabasco sauce, whatever we have in the cupboard, but uh, tonight it's Frank's Red Hot and that's a pretty good product. I love Frank's Red Hot. And then we use um, one teaspoon of Leon Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Fancy. Always shake before you use. All right, look at. And then we just whisk it together. And it's important that as you use it, to use the whisk frequently because the oil will float to the top. Uh, so to keep it mixed in and get a good mix, you just. Give it a whisk every so often while you're working with the, uh, with the sauce. Now we use this particular sauce on chicken, uh, shrimp. We've used it on, uh, sometimes if you want to use chunks of lobster. Um, it works uh, about on anything, but again, you can change it to add. Like if I'm using it on beef, I might use a little more Worcestershire, a little more red hot, and not so much Italian seasoning. The Italian seasoning works good on the vegetables because it gives it that salad flavor. Um, now, I had never really had grilled fruit until I came to the Malo's house one evening for dinner, and it's amazing. When you're picking your fruit, you should pick um, some, something that can hold up to the grill pretty well. So. Um, uh, pineapple, melon, pears, and especially in Maine where it's hard to get good soft pears, you yep. can take a pear that's a little bit harder and grill it and it brings out that wonderful yep. 
um, fruit flavor. And the hard apples work well, like uh, Granny's, Granny Smith's green apples or the uh, pink crisp apples. Anything that will hold up. One thing that we found that just doesn't hold up at all is peaches. They disintegrate when you, uh, when you cook them. Apricots have worked well. All have you right. got uh, shrimp on there yet? I do have some shrimp okay, on there. Okay, did you, uh, you yep, want to, you want to baste it. it a couple times. Okay, all just right. take, you know, I take the skewer right off, put it in the bowl and baste it right there. Oh, okay, well. It doesn't matter. I don't listen to instructions very well. So one thing, um, oh, you don't put the barbecue sauce on the fruit. And the other thing the Malos have that makes it a little bit easier is these wonderful vegetable baskets. Um, if you use the wooden skewers, it's good if you soak them ahead of time just so they don't um, catch on fire. And also the other thing to remember when you're making skewers is to keep your vegetables and your meat um, separate because the vegetables, they cook at different temperatures and you don't want to end up um, serving your guests raw chicken. Which yeah, is we never always, a good idea. We always put our, our meat on first while we're doing the final preparation on the vegetables. These baskets are nice because you can mix the vegetables and the fruit you can drizzle it on, and you can put a lot more quantity than you can on the skewers. Uh, the nice thing about this way of cooking is if someone comes along and they don't like melon, when they pick their meal together, they can pick the things they do like and eliminate the things they don't. The one thing you have to be careful of with these baskets is they get very hot, and uh, when you take them off, you have to use a pot holder. Tis true, I've burnt myself before on these. And, it, and it's um, just, again, like I, we said, a super easy, super nice way to cook a summer meal that's healthy and um, low fat. So as we wrap up, I'm going to go ahead and pull off. We did cook some chicken ahead of time um, because we knew that we didn't have enough time to cook it. But we've got our uh, shrimp skewer and some vegetables and some fruit. And we also have with us today um, Randy and Tony's grandson, Tyler, who has um, offered generously to be our taste tester. So why don't we give you a piece of chicken, Ty, and you tell us what you think? Sure. It tastes awesome. It tastes awesome is what he said. I'm going to give Randy a shrimp. All right, there we and go. And I'm going to take a shrimp. Excellent. So, and this will be um, the recipe, we'll post it on our Facebook page. It will also be on our website and we really encourage you to try to make some different grilled items and let us know what you think and what you like to have on the grill. And this show and all of our shows is on our website, www.wchi.com.